हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर अजय कुमार सिन्हा प्रोफेसर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस सॉल्युबिलिटी आई विल कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम द लास्ट क्लास लास्ट क्लास आई हैव फिनिश्ड मोल फ्रैक्शन मोलालिटी मोलारिटी एंड न्यूमेरिकल्स बेस्ड ऑन मोल फ्रैक्शन मोलालिटी एंड मोलारिटी नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस सॉल्युबिलिटी सॉल्युबिलिटी ऑफ ए सब्सटेंस इज द मैक्सिमम अमाउंट दैट कैन बी डिजॉल्व इन ए स्पेसिफाइड अमाउंट ऑफ सॉल्वेंट एट एट ए स्पेसिफाइड टेम्परेचर This is the definition of solubility. Again, I am telling you, solubility of a substance is the maximum amount that can be dissolved in a specified amount of solvent at a specified temperature. It depends upon the nature of solute and solvent as well as temperature and pressure now i will tell the effect of all these things means effect of temperature effect of pressure effect of uh, nature effect of nature of solvent and solute Okay, I will tell one by one. Now, solubility of a solid to a solubility of a solid in a liquid. That I will discuss after that effect. I will tell solubility of a solid in a liquid. This is common actually. Every solid does not dissolve. in a given liquid all solid will not dissolve in a given liquid as for example uh, suppose any any inorganic solid is there inorganic if you want to dissolve it in a organic solvent in organic substance suppose you want that is ionic you can tell ionic ionic substance if you want to dissolve in organic solvent then it will not dissolve correct like that way if organic substance if you want to dissolve in water or in any inorganic solvent here acids are also hcl hno3 h2so4 you can tell as a inorganic solvent then if organic substance is dissolved in a inorganic solvent water or, or water also you can tell it will not dissolve very partially it will dissolve reverse case also i told you in organic substance or ionic substance like in acl kcl if you try to dissolve in organic substance like ethanol methanol chloroform then it will not dissolve correct then you see that solubility depends upon nature nature of solute and solvent then what is a rule in this respect like dissolves like organic substance will dissolve in organic 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 inorganic inorganic cross is a not cross it will be very partially very partially it will dissolve okay then this is the important things i told you like dissolves like 
means organic substance will dissolve in organic solvent inorganic substance will dissolve in inorganic solvent okay then this is the important things i have told you now i will tell a little details okay every solid does not dissolve in a given liquid while sodium chloride and sugar dissolves readily in water naphthalene and anthracene this is organic compound naphthalene and anthracene do not dissolve in water correct sodium chloride and sugar dissolves readily in water quickly it will dissolve Nap- but naphthalene and anthracene do not it will not dissolve in water on the other hand naphthalene and anthracene dissolves readily in benzene but sodium chloride and uh, sugar do not dissolve in benzene it is observed that it is observed that polar solids means charged polar solutes means charged solutes dissolves in polar solvent polar solid dissolves in polar solvents means charged solvent okay and non polar where no charge is there non polar solutes in non polar solvents it will non polar so, uh, solid will dissolve in non polar solvent in general a solid dissolves in a solvent if the if the intermolecular interactions are similar in the two or we may say like dissolves like okay in general a solid dissolves in a solvent if the intermolecular interactions are similar in the two or we can tell like dissolves like when a solid when a solid solute solute may be solid liquid and gas okay not only solid solute may be solid may be liquid may be gas when a solid solute is added in the solvent some solute dissolves and its concentration increases in solution because solute particle is mixing in solvent okay when a sol when a solid solute is added in the solvent some solute dissolves and its concentration increases in solution all solute uh, may not dissolve quickly slowly and slowly it will dissolve first few particles will dissolve then again other particles will dissolve again others like that with time uh, it will dissolve more and more okay this pro- uh, this process is known as dissolution when solid particles will dissolve slowly and slowly in the solvent then it will form solution solute plus solvent is equal to solution but here all solid is not quickly dissolving slowly and slowly it will dissolve and it will make solution then this process is known as dissolution dissolution some some solid particles in solution collide with the solid solute solid solid particles and get separated out of solution then here you try to understand some solid particles in solution collide with the solid solute solid solute after that what will happen they will collide uh, uh, this some particles some solid particles uh, in solution collide with the solid particles 
and get separated out of solution then this process is known as crystallization crystallization means uh, if you uh, can say dissolved particles will dissolve uh, dissolved particles will collide with the solid particles then some particles may come out come out of solution that is called crystallization a stage is reached a stage is reached when the two process means dissolution and crystallization dissolution and crystallization a stage is reached when the two process two processes occurs at the same rate means rate of dissolution and rate of crystallization becomes equal equal under such condition under such condition number of solute particles going into solution will be equal to the solute particles separating out and a state of dynamic equilibrium is reached means solute plus solvent you know that it is solution then there you can write like this solute plus solvent and sign of equilibrium you can write and solution means solute plus solvent they are making solution and again solution can you can say go back like solvent and solute and solvent this will be in equilibrium means solution may break into solute plus solvent and solute plus solvent again make solution dissolution and crystallization dissolution that is the particles are going to the solvent and again it is crystallizing separating out both rate both process take place you can say at the same rate that's why their equilibrium will take place dynamic equilibrium that is a solvent plus solute they will it can it will make solution again solute so, solution can go back means it can dissociate into solute plus solvent at this stage at this stage the concentration of solute concentration of solute in solution will remain constant this is important things at this stage the concentration of solute in solution concentration of solute in solution will remain constant under the given condition of temperature and pressure See, similar process is followed when gases are dissolved in liquid in liquid solvents such a solution such a solution in which no more solute can be dissolved no more solute can be dissolved at the same temperature and pressure is called saturated solution means whatever possible was there it dissolved at that temperature and pressure no further solute is dissolving then that condition i can say that uh, some uh, particle will be settled down excess excess particle will settle down then that solution is called saturated solution and uh, an unsaturated solution what is the unsaturated solution unsaturated an unsaturated solution is one in which more solute can be dissolved at uh, at the same temperature at the same temperature and pressure generally pressure will be atmospheric atmospheric pressure will be constant anywhere if you go then atmospheric pressure will be almost constant everywhere okay at particularly that place particular place and the temperature if you maintain a constant that's that time i'm talking about temperature and pressure 
is constant. It, uh, then uh, temperature you are maintaining, uh, pressure is already constant. Okay. Then uh, when uh, unsaturated uh, solution I am talking about, <coughs> unsaturated solution is one in which more solid can be dissolved at the same temperature. The solution which is in dynamic equilibrium with undissociated solute is the is the saturated solution and contain the maximum amount of solute dissolved in a given amount of solvent. Thus the concentration of solute in a, in such a solution is its solubility. Actually, it solid is dissolving in solvent. Then, after that, it is becoming equilibrium. It means what? That uh, particles are coming into the solvent or making solution. Again, at equilibrium position, it may go back also. Then, it is in equilibrium. Means, it became just like a saturated. Saturated. That's why now equilibrium situation came. Then at that situation, whatever amount is dissolved, that is called solubility. Solubility. Correct. Then the concentration of solid in such a solution is its solubility. Means concentration is solubility at that condition at that condition means equilibrium condition and temperatures are uh, constant Tem at that temperature and pressure okay now uh, this uh, we have uh, observed that uh, solubility of one substance solubility of uh, one substance into another depends on nature. Already I have discussed that solubility of one substance depends depends on depends on nature of the other substance. Or we can take solubility of one substance into another another depends on the nature of nature of the substance. In addition to these, in addition to these variables, two other parameters, that is the temperature and pressure, also control the phenomena. If uh, gen uh, temperature will increase, then solubility may increase. It vary. It depends upon the temperature and pressure also. Okay, particularly gaseous. On a solid, it will be little less effect, but solid and liquid, liquid, liquid you are mixing or solid and liquid you are mixing, then there temperature and pressure has effect but less effect, very less. But, but if it is a gas, then it will affect more. Then temperature and pressure also control the, control the solubility. Okay, now I am telling you effect of a temperature. The solubility of a solid in a liquid is a, is a significantly affected by temperature. Solubility of a, of a solid in a liquid, solid in a liquid is significantly affected by temperature. Okay, temperature change with the change of temperature, solubility will increase. Okay, with temperature, pressure has little effect. Okay, I will tell you later on. Uh, now consider the equilibrium, like uh, solute plus solvent, and sign sign of equilibrium and solution. Okay, solute plus uh, solvent sign of equilibrium after that you can write solution that is the dynamic equilibrium now consider this equilibrium consider the equilibrium represented by 
you can say what i have told you now this this being this being a dynamic equilibrium must follow lee chatterial principle correct you know that in dynamic equilibrium only lee chatterial principle works okay in in general it uh, if in a you can say nearly saturated condition just to remember condition if in a nearly saturated solution <coughs> the dissolution process is a, is endothermic <coughs> generally a nearly saturated solution the dissolution process is endothermic endothermic means what endothermic means here heat is required heat is required to dissolve okay that is endothermic heat is required to dissolve means uh, here delta h will be greater than zero it is required then in this situation the solubility should increase with rise in temperature where temperature is required and you are and you are uh, supplying the heat eh, then in that situation solubility will increase but now you consider that exothermic reaction suppose in any exothermic exothermic reaction is there in exothermic reaction means heat is evolved heat will evolve as for example if uh, uh, in water sodium hydroxide solid you are adding then if you will dissolve then what you will find in the beginning water was ordinary temperature suppose 25 degree but when you have added sodium chloride solid pellet pellet form pellet that is called pellet uh, solids in which you are adding then and you will mix then what you will find now solution became warm solution became warm exothermic reaction then this type of in this type of reaction heat is not required heat is not required by or by why because already temperature is rising it is exothermic reaction then why will you supply it that time heat is not required then this here what will happen that uh, in this situation in this in this situation uh, this uh, in exothermic situation what will happen uh, should be decrease if in this condition you will apply the heat uh, in exothermic case uh, the solubility should decrease these trends are also observed experimentally okay and uh, what is the example of uh, example of endothermic reaction then potassium nitrate if you will add in the water then suppose water temperature was 25 degree now if you will add uh, potassium nitrate and if you will you can say uh, determine the melt uh, this thing temperature by thermometer then you will find now its temperature went down went down potassium nitrate eh, you have added in water then now solution became cold then this is the case of endothermic reaction this reaction this examples are asked question is asked okay then now effect of temperature i have told you now i will tell effect of eh, pressure effect of pressure pressure does not have any significant effect on the solubility of a solid in liquids correct pressure effect i am talking solid temperature temperature was having effect uh, temperature was affecting solid in a liquid but pressure now you can see that uh, pressure does not have the significant effect on solubility of solids in liquids it is so 
इट इज सो बिकॉज सॉलिड्स एंड लिक्विड्स आर हाईली हाईली इनकम्प्रेसेबल हाईली इनकम्प्रेसेबल के इट कांड बी कंप्रेस्ड इट कांड बी कंप्रेस सॉलिड और लिक्विड्स आर कांड बी कंप्रेस्ड सॉलिड्स एंड लिक्विड्स आर हाईली इनकम्प्रेसिबल मीन्स कांड बी कंप्रेस्ड एंड प्रैक्टिकली रिमेन अनफेक्टेड बाई चेंज इन प्रेशर दिस यू शुड नो दिस मेन अफेक्ट इज ऑफ टेम्परेचर मेन अफेक्ट इज ऑफ टेम्परेचर सिग्निफिकेंट अफेक्ट बट बट प्रेशर अफेक्ट इज इन सिग्निफिकेंट इन सिग्निफिकेंट दिस आई हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट द अफेक्ट ऑफ प्रेशर नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू टेल सॉलिबिलिटी ऑफ ए गैस इन ए लिक्विड सॉलिबिलिटी ऑफ ए गैस इन ए लिक्विड नाउ आई हैव डिस्कस सॉलिड इन लिक्विड करेक्ट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस गैस सॉलिबिलिटी ऑफ गैस इन ए लिक्विड गैस ऑल्सो डिजॉल्व इन लिक्विड बट बट इट विल डिजॉल्व लेस इट विल डिजॉल्व लेस एंड हेयर प्रेशर हैज प्रेशर हैज मेन अफेक्ट प्रेशर हैज मेन अफेक्ट इफ यू इफ यू विल अप्लाई द प्रेशर देन सॉलिबिलिटी विल इंक्रीज मीन्स मोर गैस विल डिजॉल्व एंड द टेम्परेचर विल बी रिवर्स अफेक्ट टेम्परेचर विल बी रिवर्स अफेक्ट इफ यू विल इंक्रीज द टेम्परेचर देन सॉलिबिलिटी विल डिक्रीज आई हैव ब्रीफ टू यू नाउ आई एम गोइंग इन डिटेल्स ओके मेनी गैसेज डिजॉल्व इन वाटर ऑक्सीजन डिजॉल्व ओनली इन ए स्मॉल एक्सटेंट इन वाटर स्मॉल एक्सटेंट इन वाटर वेरी लेस इट इट इज दिस इट इज दिस डिजॉल्व ऑक्सीजन विच विच सस्टेन्स ऑल एक्वेटिक लाइफ एक्चुअली ऑक्सीजन इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एक्वेटिक लाइफ एंड इट डिजॉल्व लेस देन डिजॉल्व ऑक्सीजन सस्टेन्स द सस्टेन्स ऑल एक्वेटिक लाइफ एक्वेटिक लाइफ इज ड्यू टू दिस डिजॉल्व ऑक्सीजन इन लेस क्वान्टिटी ऑन द अदर हैंड हाइड्रोजन क्लोराइड सम गैसेज विल डिजॉल्व मोर ऑन द अदर हैंड हाइड्रोजन क्लोराइड गैस एच सी एल गैस एच सी एल इज नॉट ओनली लिक्विड एसिड ओके जनरली इन लाइव यू विल सी एच सी एल एसिड विल बी देयर लिक्विड फॉर्म बट हेयर एक्चुअली वेन एज इट इज अ गैस एच सी एल गैस वेन एच सी एल गैस इज डिजॉल्व इन वाटर एट हाई प्रेशर देन इट इज कॉल्ड एच सी एल एसिड एच सी एल एसिड ओके द दिस हाइड्रोजन क्लोराइड गैस इज हाईली सॉलूबल इन वाटर सॉलबिलिटी ऑफ गैसेज इन लिक्विड इज ग्रेटली अफेक्टेड बाई प्रेशर इट अफेक्ट इट इज मोर अफेक्ट ऑफ दिस इज अफेक्टेड बाई प्रेशर ग्रेटली अफेक्टेड बाई प्रेशर मोर अफेक्ट ऑफ मोर अफेक्ट बाई प्रेशर ओके प्रेशर एंड टेम्परेचर बोथ हैव अफेक्ट बट टेम्परेचर अफेक्ट ऑलरेडी I told you in a reverse way, the solubility of gases in the solubility of gases increase with increase of pressure. This you don't forget. Oh, this is very very important things I am telling you. That increase of pressure increases the solubility of gases in water. The solubility of gases increases with increase of pressure. As for example, uh, for a solution of gases in a solvent, for a solution of gases in solvent, consider a system. That's a diagram. I will try to send it, but it is not required. Uh, suppose that uh, this in diagram, nothing is there. that is a solvent is there and gases is there okay 
then a lower part in solution and the upper part is gas lower part suppose lower part you have taken some solution you have taken some solution in a beaker then lower part is solution and the upper part is gaseous system at a pressure p and temperature t that you consider correct in a solution in a beaker you have taken solution after that you have applied the pressure gas then upper will be the gas down and, and that down will be the liquid suppose pressure you have applied the pressure is p a small p and temperature is t capital t you can consider then now uh, you can understand very easily uh, assume this system to be in a state of dynamic equilibrium just consider assume this system to be in a in a state of dynamic equilibrium means some some uh, gases have dissolved in water and dissolved gases again it is coming out coming out correct then that is called going dissolved and again it is coming out then going and coming out that is called equilibrium equilibrium they are maintaining then under this condition under this condition rate of rate of gaseous particles entering and leaving the solution phase is the same at equilibrium position always rate will be the same coming and going both rate will be the same uh, now what you have to do now you increase the pressure that time p pressure was p now you have increased the pressure now increase the pressure over the solution phase by compressing the gas more pressure you are applying uh, to a uh, the, uh, to the solution then what will happen then you know what will happen this will increase the number of gaseous particles per unit volume over the solution now that this uh, gases more gaseous particle will dissolve more gaseous particle will dissolve this will increase the number of <coughs> gaseous particles per unit volume over the solution and also the rate of rate at which the gaseous particles are striking the surface of solution to enter it that also will increase means more gases will strike to the surface of solution yeah. more uh, uh, this uh, gaseous particles will strike gaseous particles are uh, striking or will strike the surface of solution to enter it okay then now our vessel solubility will increase per unit volume uh, per unit volume more more gaseous particles are entering then obviously solubility will increase the solubility of the gas will increase until a new equilibrium is reached because now uh, it will be going going uh, until it will be saturated when uh, uh, this uh, many gases are particle gas particles are going then again it will it will uh, you can say solubility will increase until equilibrium will reach equilibrium will reach then because when equilibrium will reach then that gas again uh, it may come out and rate will be equal for both coming out and go, uh, entering that is a backward and forward reaction okay then in that situation equilibrium will be reached then the solubility of the gas will increase until a new equilibrium is reached resulting in a resulting in an increase in the pressure of gas above the solution and thus its solubility increases obviously when uh, equilibrium will uh, equilibrium will increase uh, equilibrium will be stabilized then what will happen dissolved gas again it will try to come out correct then above the surface of liquid 
that gas will be there which is coming out again it will go again it will come then their equilibrium will be there but that gaseous particles will be on the surface of above the surface of a solution correct then that actually that uh, you can say gaseous particles that gaseous particles above the above the uh, surface of solution creates pressure creates pressure and uh, that again i will come separately for that but you think uh, this is the situation then that creates pressure due to that pressure now gas will enter the solution okay it means solubility of gas will increase now uh, i am telling you again further for the details henry one scientist was there henry was actually he has given theory related to this only solubility related to solubility solubility that how much gas will dissolve that law he has given okay how much gas will dissolve in a solution hai na or in in solvent how much gas will dissolve then that related to that he has given a law that is called henry's law of solubility then i will tell about that law henry was the first to give a to give a quantitative relation quantitative means related to quantity quantitative relation between pressure and solubility that uh, if you are increasing the pressure solubility if you are increasing the pressure of gas solubility is increasing solubility of gas is increasing then related to that uh, he has given one uh, you can say law okay that is called quantitative quantitative relate uh, relation you can tell quantity he has quantitatively related and he was uh, the first first to give a quantitative relation between pressure and solubility of gas in a solvent in a solvent which is known as henry's law okay there is a relation between pressure and pressure and solubility of the gas in a solvent okay this law relation between pressure and solubility this law is called henry's law okay the law what is actually law the law states that at a constant temperature when temperature is constant the solubility of a gas in a liquid solubility of a gas in a liquid is directly proportional to the pressure of the gas very very simple law is there is you can remember that solubility is directly proportional to p very easy solubility is directly proportional to pressure of the gas very simple at constant temperature dalton one more scientist you might have heard the name dalton uh, at that time only at the time of henry that period dalton's a contemporary of henry also concluded independently that the solubility of a gas solubility of a gas in a liquid solution is a function of partial pressure of the gas he also told only he has used that term partial pressure and he told pressure that is the only difference okay because sometimes a mixture of gas will be also there mixture of gases will be there that's why uh, dalton used partial pressure means for one gas only but both are the pressure only dalton also used the pressure partial pressure he used and uh, henry he told about the henry he told about the only pressure that is the only difference then what extra things uh, uh, this uh, dalton told him that uh, uh, this uh, 
Henry, Dalton and Henry, most, uh, almost same things uh, he told. Okay. But extra things uh, I am telling you now uh, how it is related to uh, these things, mole fraction. Mo it is actually this solubility is related to mole fraction. In the beginning, I told you, okay, in the starting of this chapter, it has relation with mole fraction. If we use the mole fraction of a gas in the solution, mole fraction of the gas in the solution as a measure of solubility, means solubility is, is also related to also related to mole fraction. Solubility is related to pressure, you have seen pressure is related to solubility and solubility is related to mole fraction. Then uh, how that I am telling you, uh, mole fraction of a gas, mole fraction of gas in the solution is a proportional to the partial pressure of partial pressure of the gas over the solution. This is the actually relation. Means mole fraction, mole fraction of a gas. Then it means what mole fraction fraction you are talking about. Eh? Then mole fraction of gas. It means you are talking about the molecules of gas. Molecules of gas. It creates pressure. Correct? But here molecule you are telling eh? in term of mole fraction because eh, suppose you are considering binary solution means only two different type of uh, one is solid other is liquid different phases there different phase solid phase liquid phase but here gas and here gaseous phase and liquid phase you are considering then uh, you know that it will form a solution gaseous solution then here what will happen that uh, gas will along with the gas water molecules means the solvent will be also there their molecules is also there not only gases molecule because it is a solution then in solution both will be there gas will be also there and uh, solvent molecules will be also there hence uh, it is a correct way to tell how to use uh, mole fraction, mole fraction, how much uh, gas is there, how many moles of gas and how many moles of liquid, means solvent, okay. But it is uh, related to pressure only, pressure related, solubility, pressure and now mole fraction, all three are related, okay. Then uh, this I told you mole fraction of gas in the solution is proportional to the partial pressure of gas over the solution. Then you have seen pressure was related to solubility and here pressure, partial pressure is also related to the mole fraction. Okay. The most commonly used form, most commonly used form of Henry's law states that, <clears throat> this is important uh, statement, what is that uh, statement? The partial pressure of gas in vapor phase, vapor phase, the partial pressure of the gas in vapor phase, that is a <coughs> pressure, you, a small p you can consider, the partial pressure of the gas in a vapor phase, that pressure, a small p you can tell, is proportional is proportional to the mole fraction of the gas means x <clears throat> then p is directly proportional to x partial pressure is directly proportional to x means partial pressure partial pressure is proportional to mole fraction directly proportional to mole fraction correct this is the mathematical way p is directly proportional to x then uh, if you want to remove the term, uh, this par uh, proportional sign you want to remove, then you have to multiply with some constant. Then suppose that constant is kh, capital K, 
and down you can write H, capital H, K H. Then K H, P is equal to K H into X. You have removed the sign of proportionality. Okay. Now it became equality. Then P equal to it became P equal to K W K H into X. What is the K H? Then K H is K H is the Henry's law constant. K H is the Henry's law constant. If if we draw a graph between partial pressure of the gas. Partial pressure of the gas versus mole fraction of the gas in solution, then we should get a plot, a straight line, a straight line plot. We will get okay that x axis you x axis you keep mole fraction, y axis partial pressure. Then if you will draw the this if data is available. Then you will find experimentally uh, data will be experiment is done. Then data will get. Then it is it is observed experimentally. It has seen that this uh, partial pressure partial pressure of the gas versus mole fraction mole fraction it gives a straight line a straight line. Okay, mole fraction of here example you can take mole fraction of HCl. Mole fraction of Cl in the solution in a cyclohexane. In cyclohexane, HCl you have dissolved. Then it pressure. How pressure was? You can say how pressure created. Then that pressure and mole fraction. Uh, the, when uh, this graph was plotted, then uh, a straight line. A straight line was observed. It has given a straight line. Okay. Then now uh, again, I am going ahead. That is the uh, this thing. Uh, already I have told uh, this uh, that uh, gas uh, this more, um, partial pressure. Par plot between partial pressure and mole fraction. Okay, and then here again I want to little more. Different gases have different KH values at the same temperature. This is very very important. Different gases, HCl has different than O2. O2 is different from N2. Different gases have different KH values at the same temperature. This and uh, this relation you have seen P, P is equal to KH into X, partial pressure is equal to KH into X. From this uh, uh, it is clear that KH is a function of the nature of gas. KH value is differing. Then KH is a Function of the nature of the gas, it will tell KH value will tell about the uh, different different gases. Okay, by the value of KH, you can tell, uh, you can say nature of, you can conclude what type of gas is there. Then it is a function of the nature of gas. KH value depends upon the nature of gas. It is obvious. Uh, from this equation, what I discussed, P is equal to K H into X. This formula always you remember. Numericals you can solve by use of this formula. Okay. Then uh, because out of three two they will give third you have to find out. Okay. Sometimes they will ask calculate partial pressure. Sometimes they will ask calculate mole fraction. Okay. So, and K H value they will give. Case value will be given. Out of three, two values will be given. Third value you have to find out. Then it is a obvious from the equation. This equation that higher the value of K H, higher the value of K H at a given temperature, lower the solubility of the gas in the liquid. This you have to understand. If K H value is more, 
kh value is more then what will happen the lower of the solubility of the gas in the liquid just more the kh value less the solubility but how we how you can uh, this from the equation how will you understand p is equal to kh into x i am explaining you okay p h is equal to kh into x mole fraction then now if kh means p is equal of two values two values kh values and x values then now if kh value will be more p depends upon two values if kh will be more than x will be less correct because uh, if you multiply then value will be p equal to p if then kh is more then x will be less means mole fraction will be less then mole fraction is less then pressure will be less when pressure is less solubility will be less correct if kh value is more then x value will be less because if you multiply these two then you will get equal to p equal to p and if k h value is more it means x is less i mean x is less means mole fraction is less then solubility will be less or pressure vapor pressure will be less you can tell partial pressure will be less these things are very conceptual question is asked on this concept then now i have told you about that Uh, this uh, if more value k h is more then solubility will be less okay now it can be uh, this thing so by if you will see different values of k h then uh, you will find n2 and o2 nitrogen and oxygen increases solubility k uh, this k h values for n2 and o2 increases with increase of temperature if you see the kh value of nitrogen and oxygen gases its a kh value increases with increase of temperature if temperature will in increase if temperature will increase then this value this value kh value increases then now you can see now kh value is increasing with temperature it means solubility will decrease solubility will decrease with temperature because kh value is increasing kh value is increasing with increase of temperature and with a increase of kh value solubility decreases it means with increase of temperature solubility will decrease this is again important concept i have told you relation kh value increases then solubility decreases and with temperature kh value increases but particularly for n2 and o2 correct from the value various values are given then you can see then that's why tem with increase of temperature solubility decreases both answers are same increase of kh or increase of temperature solubility decreases okay increase with uh, increase with you can say increase with uh, you can tell uh, solubility increases with decrease of temperature correct in the reverse way you can understand that if, so if temperature will be less temperature will be less than solubility will increase just reverse with increase of temperature solubility decreases then with uh, decrease of temperature solubility will increase this question is asked okay then uh, why it happens it is due to the region that uh, that acquired this is actually region it is due to this region that uh, aquatic species are more comfortable in cold water rather than a uh, warm water aquatic life require uh, cold water cold water why in cold water oxygen will be more oxygen will be more because temperature is less then more oxygen will dissolve 
more oxygen will dull, dissolve than aquatic life. They want uh, cold water rather than warm water. Correct? This I have told you. Now, uh, this uh, some uh, things, uh, some example, important things I am going to tell you. Henry's law finds several application. Applications of uh, Henry's law, I am telling you, this is very, very important. Many times I have seen the question uh, in many examination, this application is asked. Okay, just try to understand. Henry's law finds several applications in industry and uh, explains uh, some biological phenomena. Okay, some examples I am telling you. Okay, first example to increase the solubility of carbon dioxide in soft drink, cold drink cold drink like that soft drink to increase the solubility of co2 in soft drinks and uh, soda water the bottle is sealed under the high pressure that's why when you will open the bottle then uh, uh, you can say bubbles will come more gases will come uh, come out from the bottle because that is filled with uh, high carbon dioxide gas okay soda uh, uh, second uh, second example second i am telling you second example that uh, to increase the uh, solubility carbon dioxide already i have told you now second that uh, divers scuba divers who he, who will who will uh, diver will just go inside the you can say sea or ocean divers d i b e r s that is called a scuba divers a scuba divers uh, feels problem actually this scuba divers divers they will take ox uh, this some gas oxygen gas in a tank and it will go to the uh, depth of the atmosphere or sea uh, this thing, ocean or C, it will go inside, right? at a depth it will go, then they face problem and uh, divers, uh, this uh, scuba divers uh, must cope with uh, high concentration of uh, dissolved gases. In water many gases will dissolve in ocean and uh, sea, many gases will be dissolved. They, then these divers cope with high concentration of dissolved gases while breathing air at high pressure under water because uh, what happens when they will go inside the water then water pressure also it will work on their body water pressure also works on their body then this uh, pre body uh, because high pressure is on their body water water pressure and uh, air air when they, it will breath when it will breath actually air they are taking tank of air they will put a small tank of bottle that's just like a cylinder they will keep then in that air will be there and air is a mixture of n2 and o2 nitrogen and oxygen then that time uh, this diverse faces a lot of problem what type of problem? Now, now they will uh, take uh, when uh, they will take air breathing time, breathing time, eh, because uh, air entered in his body, and this heavy this water, eh, which is acting on his body, is pressing that gas also. That air which is inside he has taken uh, in the form of breath during breathing, air entered to the body. And uh, this water pressure is pressing his body, then it will press the all you can say liquid also inside the body. If the gas is there, liquid is there, whatever we then it will increase, their pressure will increase. Now, uh, these things I have told you because you can understand easily. 
otherwise many students will not understand then now uh, uh, what i told you that this divers uh, cope with high concentration of dissolved gases while breathing air at high pressure under water increased uh, this uh, increased pressure increased pressure increases the solubility of uh, atmospheric gases in blood this is important point increase pressure increases the solubility solubility of atmosphere atmospheric gases in blood you know that with the high, high pressure gas will dissolve more and more then more gases will dissolve in blood when the divers come towards surface the pressure gradually decreases if they will come out uh, towards the surface the pressure gradually decreases this release the dissolved gases this release the dissolved gases and leads to the formation of bubbles because gases are coming out hence it will leads the formation of bubbles of nitrogen in the blood in the blood uh, nitrogen bubble will be there it will form when they will come reach to the surface coming out that time this then its effect is there this bubble creates problem this uh, this blocks uh, 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 this things uh, capillaries this blocks uh, this bubbles block capillaries and create a medical condition known as bends b e n d s bends question is asked what is the bends then this uh, nitrogen bubble blocks capillaries and create a medical condition known as bends which are painful and dangerous to life correct see the this uh, application is there but now you can say side effect side effect dangerous to life okay then now uh, this uh, to avoid then how will you avoid diver uh, this divers are going uh, in ocean or sea in depth then what can be done how will they go then to avoid bends uh, as well as the toxic effect of uh, high concentration of nitrogen in the blood the tanks what okay, air they are taking in the tank the tanks used by escapes divers are filled with air diluted with helium diluted with helium question is asked in that air some helium gas nitrogen gas they will remove and some air helium gas they will put okay the tanks used by escapes divers are filled with air diluted with helium the helium will be 11.7 percent okay 11 11.7 percent helium and uh, nitrogen will be 56.2 percent nitrogen and 32.1 percent oxygen this you remember oxygen is 32 percent 32.1 percent and uh, actually generally in air 78 percent nitrogen will be there 20 around 21 per, uh, 21 percent roughly 21 point eight around 22 percent is oxygen but now 78 became 56 56.2 and oxygen is more from 21 point eight now it become 32 point one and rest 11 point seven percent is helium okay now uh, third things i am telling you third application at high altitude the partial pressure of oxygen is less than that at ground level this leads to low concentration of oxygen in the blood and blood and tissues of people living at high altitude you will feel it when you will go by plane you are going by 
very at a height at a height uh, means uh, 5 kilometer 6 kilometer from the ground then there uh, oxygen will be less that time same things happens or may happens then uh, this low pressure partial uh, this thing uh, partial pressure of oxygen is less at high altitude than that at the ground level this leads to a low concentration of oxygen in the blood and tissues of people living at high altitude or climbers low blood oxygen low blood oxygen causes a climbers to become weak if oxygen in the blood in the oxygen will be less then person becomes weak and unable to think unable to think clearly symptom of a condition known as anoxia this question is also asked fit for the medical student anoxia both bend and uh, bend and anoxia both questions are fit for medical anoxia a n o x i a okay then this i have told about the uh, this things uh, uh, application of henry's law okay now just uh, i will tell about the effect of temperature solubility of gases solubility of gases in liquid that affect temperature effect i am telling you solubility already i told you again i am just uh, reminding you solubility of gases in liquid decreases with rise in temperature when dissolved when dissolved the gas molecules are present in a liquid phase gas molecules are present in liquid phase and the process of dissolution can be considered similar to condensation similar to condensation okay condensation molecules will come together then dissolution can be considered as a uh, similar to condensation and uh, he, heat is evolved in this process again i am telling you uh, that uh, solubility of gases gases in liquid decreases with rise in temperature okay when dissolved when dissolved the gas molecules are present in a uh, gas molecules are present in liquid phase and the process of dissolution can be considered similar to condensation and heat is evolved in this process and uh, we know we know uh, that uh, this uh, dissolution process in involves dynamic equilibrium dissolution process involves dynamic equilibrium and thus must flow must follow you can tell must must follow leach chatterer principles as dissolution is a, as a dissolution is an exothermic process exothermic process the solubility should decrease with increase of temperature okay means uh, simply you know that with temperature solubility will decrease then today i am stopping only here next class again i will continue thank you